Let's call to order the meeting of the Northampton Council on Aging at 3.38, it looks like, um, on the 28th. I did, I think I let everyone know, but just to make sure it's on the record, that Ben Capistone has submitted his resignation. He's moving out of the area, so he was copied on his um, letter to the mayor. Mm -hmm. And so I think our first order of business, I don't see other than our friend from the, from the Gazette, you from the Gazette? Yes. <laughs> friend from the Gazette, no other. So anyone make, make a comment in our public comment period. So I think what we want to do is, um, we have the minutes from our last meeting, which was the 10th of February. If you want to take a minute, I know we can send them out in advance, but Laura had put copies for it. So if you want to just briefly look at the minutes before we entertain a motion to accept them. It's that this is the, the minister, right? There. These are the minutes from the February 10th meeting. See how it says the minutes? It's not the agenda, it's the Got minutes. It. Yeah, it's the <laughs> it looks like the agenda okay. on the front. Okay, as we said, getting back together in person, <laughs> we're going to have a few. So, uh, entertain a motion to accept the minutes. I'll make the, a motion. Second. All in favor to accept the minutes from the February meeting? Aye. 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 So the next item on the agenda is an update on the selection process for a new senior services director. Before I do that, I want to, for the record and publicly, thank Nancy, thank Laura, Michelle, and every other staff person here who have done an incredible job in pulling this together. So Marie was on a leave of absence from the beginning of March, so it's been over a month well over a month since without a director and certainly a new associate director. So we just need to thank you guys so much for keeping it together. And it may be a little while longer. So the, as of today, there were six applicants for the position. So earlier this afternoon, I spoke with Alan Wolf, who's the mayor's chief of staff. So he said there are six applicants. Their decision is they're going to extend the application deadline, which had been this was this originally this Friday the 29th. So they're going to extend it for at least a couple more weeks in hopes to attract more candidates. His ask was if anyone, if, so it's been publicized locally, it's also been publicized in the state MCOA, the State Council and Asian Association's newsletter that goes across the state in case anyone wanted to relocate from wherever to Northampton. Um, and I think oftentimes word of mouth, so we just encourage if you know of anyone or someone who might know of someone, that whole kind of thing, to encourage them to apply, um, please do so. The mayor has appointed a search committee, um, and that would be Alan, who's the chief of staff. Jim Nash, who's city councilor and current city council president. Kathy Bowler, who is with MCOA, she is she herself was the COA director for Holyoke for a good number of years. I actually knew her from when I was here before. And she's sat in on a number of senior center director interviews, so she's a good asset. Meredith O'Leary, who is the Board of Health director, as we all know, and me. So we'll be the search committee when there is something to search. <laughs> um, I know I have had conversations in the past with the staff, and I think as we start narrowing this down, that all any input that anyone wants to have about what we should be looking for when in terms of selection process and any recommendations to the mayor so the so when the, when the, after the application process is closed their search committee will review the applications in conjunction with human resources make a decision about who's going to be interviewed have conduct those interviews and then hopefully have a candidate or more rank them for the mayor who is the final decider here. And my assumption that we haven't met to discuss this is if there are one or two top candidates, she'll interview both of them. So um, so we're really more going through the screening process, making recommendations, but the ultimate decision certainly lies with the mayor. And then I believe it's required city council confirmation as well. So that's why I think helpful to have a city councilor in the process. <clears throat> Any questions, Jean? 
Is it possible that the search committee could meet with the staff here before they start the interviews? I can certainly ask. I mean, I, it may not be the entire committee. It may be, you know, a couple of us. Let me talk with Alan and see if that makes sense. But I, um, I, I, don't, I don't know. If, I've been away from the city too long. I'm not sure what the, the protocol is, but let's ask. Uh -huh. Any other? Yeah, Jerry. I just want clarification um, because of what has happened four years ago that this committee does not have a role in choosing the person for the director. Correct. You have part of the, I mean, you could have probably explained it better than I, but I, I was. In, you know, in the mud. The, the, yeah, the, the, this isn't a mayoral appointment, so it is the mayor who makes the decision. As an advisory group, we have no say so in hiring anybody. But Just so everybody on this committee hears that and understands it, because there was a misunderstanding mm -hmm. four years ago. Thanks. Big That's misunderstanding. Good, yeah, I and it was the I, members of this it. group that were really misunderstanding it, and it brought yeah. on a lot of other people. So that's why I think it's important to certainly follow through for um, Jean's suggestion that the search committee get as much input from this group and the staff. So I don't know how, if you have thoughts about what you think is important, if you want to raise them today, just shoot me an email, whatever, so that we can put it in the mix. Mm -hmm. But thanks, I think you're, yeah, it's very, you know, we, again, as an advisory group, we have no, no personnel responsibility. And I think in addition to finding out, like, though, that those, the groups that you just talked about, it might also be important for the um, committee, the search committee, to um, understand what it is that the mayor is expecting. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that's why Alan is on the her yeah. super staff yeah. is on the so, committee. You know, yeah. but they haven't just you know so that there's a common understanding mm -hmm. about um, what that person's role will be, and so that way you'd have a better sense about what strengths you're looking for. Exactly. Other comments about the selection process? You can always give your the mayor your viewpoint on anything that's being done. It's interesting that this is an advisory committee, which means, I presume, that we give advice, but we won't be able to give any advice about any of the candidates because we won't, as a committee, have met them. Not that we would have any particular decision-making ability, but, you know, if we're really an advisory committee, it would be kind of interesting to be able to give advice of that kind because we work with the director Pretty intensively, but it is what it is, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I think there are opportunities to provide advice. Now you're right. Now you, it's not about any particular individual. It's about what people, you know. The job. You know, there's like there's a position description. So yeah. <laughs> within that, what are the uh, items that people feel are, are priorities? Um, but I will get more more detailed. I mean, I, my assumption, just having search committees go, is what I outlined. But I don't know if there's to Jean's point, can the search committee meet with the staff? Is there another opportunity for this group? Let me let me find out or make some suggestions. They seem pretty open and flexible. Mm. Any other comments before we go on to the next item? Anything under old business? Bob? I'm having some questions about the uh age and dementia friendly initiatives. Has anybody here been working on any of the subcommittees or anything on it? Yes. Yes. And, to, and, and Carolyn. So I was going to bring that up under um, sort of I guess both old and new business, but so the um, age and dementia friendly initiative, so I'll go, let me go back to go forward. Yeah. So I think may, at some meeting we may have talked about the fact that we're the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission have received a grant almost a year ago now, I think, to be able to provide staff assistance. So we have benefited from that. We're part of that consortium. And so there is a draft plan, an Asian dementia friendly plan, that is in very much in draft form that has some priorities, um, topics, etc. That, so that 
group met in the end of March, set some priorities to that, that just got pulled together two days ago. I, it was just yesterday, because I just received a copy yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. So part of my plan was to share that with everyone around the table. It hasn't gone to the mayor yet, so it's in a, there are, the steering committee is going to be meeting in a couple of weeks to put some priorities to the priorities. So I think the good opportunity now for to share the draft with you is fairly lengthy and just ask for any feedback or input about the priorities. What I'm going to propose to the group is that we look at what's doable in the next 12 months. Because there are, you know, under all these areas, there's just so many items, there's no way that anything can be accomplished. So I think we really need to say what's what's important to accomplish in the next 12 months and then what's the good, and then within that, what are the priorities? Because we're talking about physical space, and you know, we're talking about housing and transportation issues, um, access to services, et cetera. There's a whole lot in there that a lot of it, I think, is pulls into whether people, whether an advocacy role, I mean, we're certainly not going to create affordable housing tomorrow. So, so it's a lot of advocacy. But I think it, the, I'll send it to you with, with a note, because I think that the end of it is where the recommendations are. Um, but it will be helpful to get feedback. Does that answer your question, Bob? Yes. You know, I looked at some of the things that were a part of the uh, uh, the uh, different groups that have been mentioning things for years. But you, you see as a bullet point on age-friendly survey, mm -hmm. men, but there's no way, there isn't any way to drill down to find out, okay, it's there, what's going it's on? It's there, and you remember, we this has been a process. So the city was designated as an age-friendly community three years ago. Yeah. It's sort of a, a little bit reverse process. You get the designation, and then you develop the plan about how you're gonna, what you're gonna do for it. Um, so we have the designation. We not we have not yet actually been designated a dementia friendly community that requires a whole a different application. Um, but the planning process, so that's what we, so the next requirement is to develop this plan. So that's what it is that you're I'm gonna send you. Okay. It's the draft plan of what we're gonna do. The intent as I understand it is to look at this draft plan. Any suggestions that go forward that the boss will take care of in terms of a final edit? I think she's aiming for what, mid May to have it all done? It'll be, we're not going to meet as a steering group until mid May, so it'll be probably by the end of the May, end of May yeah. at the earliest, to get it to the mayor yeah. for her sign off. And I think that trying to refine the recommendations is what's the challenge. Yeah, just on the copy of the. Yeah. Age Friendly Northampton Summary Report from June 2020. Yeah, that's, well, there, this is that plus. Yes. Yeah. Really plus. Yeah, yeah. so it, it's been a long time coming to this point. I think we've benefited greatly from having the Planning Commission staff assistance to pull this together, because none of the, it wouldn't be at this point if we didn't have that assistance. But it's, it's, all, it's all good news. And in, in addition to that, the city, there's money through the state known as community compact money. And historically, this, this Northampton has used that for several things related to the, coming from the planning department. A year, two years ago, age and dementia friendly work was added as a potential category. So the city, under the previous mayor, applied and got community grant compact money, contracted with the planning commission. And this is about looking at, North, looking at the city the city's practices, policies, procedures, are they age friendly? Yeah. So it's a sort of a, an, in look, an inward look at that. So um, the steering committee is going to get an update on where the planning commission is with that. Yeah, I did uh, find a little bit on the block grants. Is this, this is separate from block grants. It's a yeah. okay. different set of, of money. Block grant money is federal money. The community compact money comes through the governor's office. Okay. So it's state money. But it's all, right, it's all pieces of a much bigger pie. Is that helpful? Yep. Yeah. Answers my questions. 
because I kept seeing, you know, you go back to a year and a half, and sure, you see no, little no. blips. We're talking blips about this, right. and we're talking yeah. about, but okay, so what? <laughs> yeah, what's this? I, I agree with you. Is there anything under else under old business? Yeah, updates. Nancy thinks you might want to share with us that would be old or should we, new business. Or oh, I know we're, we're, we're going over what's the, old and what's new. I'm not sure. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's why I'm sort of, I'm not sure which category it fits into. But um, mm. since the mask, well, it's new to us. So that since the mask mandate has been lifted, mm -hmm. you guys have been gradually bringing back programming. Can you just give us a brief update of where you think things are? Yeah, I, I think it's it's been slower than we hoped. Um, not quite sure why, don't quite know, um, so that's been interesting. Um, the uh, Board of Health has just asked us to send out a survey regarding the vaccine mandate at the front. So that just went out yesterday. If some of you are on our e-blast, you may have gotten that from uh, our e-blast list. Um, so I think they're using that to inform whether they're going to keep that or not. Um, there's been a few times where they have not been able to staff that, um, and we certainly can't staff it. So um, there have been times where that has gone unstaffed um, so I don't, you know, there's no real way to tell whether, you know, that has been, whether people, I don't know, don't, I, I don't know whether that's affecting people coming in or not, I, who knows, I don't know, you know, it's hard to know. Um, so yes, the answer is we are slowly ramping things up, um, but it's a weird balance because we don't have a director, we don't have an assistant director. We used to have three staff assistants. We had one staff assistant leave. We have a second staff assistant that's leaving in two weeks. So we're down to one staff assistant, essentially. So we can't ramp up, pro we would like to ramp up programs more, but we can't ramp up programs more if we don't have the staff behind it to support programs that we would like to implement. Um, and we certainly then also can't because you're also having Michelle and I, or we also have Michelle and I trying to split Marie's position. So I'm trying to do my job, Michelle's trying to do her job, and we're also trying to split Marie's job. So we can't also do our own jobs, Marie's job, the assistant director's job on top of that, and support more programs at the same time. So um, this is not a complaint. <laughs> if it's coming across about that way, that I'm not complaining at all. It's just the reality of it. So uh, we want to do more stuff here. So we're trying to figure out what is it that we can do and manage because we certainly don't want to do things that we can't manage because that's a disaster. So um, so that's kind of where we're at. Um, we have been pondering uh, perhaps opening one more day a week for lunch. Um, we thought maybe we could take that on. Um, so we're pondering. We're still in the pondering stage of that. Uh, perhaps opening on Fridays for lunch. Um, so that's new, or that could be new and exciting. Well, we're, we're, we're just updates. We're like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so that might be one thing. Um, I, yeah. think it, I think it sounds like you guys are being very yeah. wise in not doing what you can do yeah, and not, I mean, not taking on I mean, the fact that you're open again for meals, the coffee shop's open Open a couple again. times a week, yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's all right. huge progress. Yeah, we, we have some art classes running, we have some, a few discussion groups running, um, we have a, a new Spanish class that's about to start. Um, so yeah, some things are, you know, slowly coming back, but I, I just wish it was, I wish it was more. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but are you, uh, are you doing, some of them, I've been mean, waiting, hybrid you're able to do some of the hybrid with the new equipment oh yes it's definitely going. definitely uh, the YMCA is back in the building doing three classes a week hybrid oh yeah technology is great when it's working I mean <laughs> <laughs> oh I mean like anything else uh, there's glitches but yes it's 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 been wonderful 
to have that piece of equipment and um, um, yeah, but that's another thing. Like you know, we really need a, a staff assistant here to run and you know when the thing yeah. isn't you know it's just yeah it takes takes a body right. Uh, so yeah, that's great. So we want to be doing more, but we have to be cautious about what we're doing because we're we're stretched so so thin. So so we'll get there. It's just been a little frustrating because we want to be doing more. And I hope that you know that you can call on people who are sitting around this table. This yeah, time. no, I know. It's just like you know, we yeah, of course, but we can't you know we can't call you when the you know the, the monitor is right. working. Yeah. But you know, I think yeah, for reason, sure, because none of us know how to use it. No, no, <laughs> so I know for sure. And the, but, unless Bob's talking, it's so. in yeah. the moment. Yeah, it's in the moment, of course, and, and all that. But um, I mean, what are, what are you all hearing? Are you hearing anything? Or are you hearing complaints? Or no? Any, are you hearing good things? They're pleased to come back. Bad things? I mean, what do you tell me? What I you're heard hearing? that the food is spectacular. Yes. <laughs> and you talked to Kevin Literally. before you heard that. Right? Yeah. No. But we hear that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, That's right. I think it's just so great to be able to have little. It's a little thing, but it's not a little thing to be yeah. able to have people be able to physically come back in the yeah. building and eat. Yeah. Yeah. I hope they feel the welcome. Coffee shop. I think there's just so much mixed messages in the news that yeah. you don't know right, what to do on any given day. You know, mm -hmm. do you want to be near people or don't you want to be sure? I think people got so used to not being near people. Sure. So yeah, and there's, there's as you said earlier, there's so much up in so many balls up in the air. So I know we talked about this, you and I, with some of the staff about at some point do we want to do a hey we're back event more splashy i think that's going to wait till we get yeah like, capacity yeah but something to look forward to is a more formalized way of saying you know two years yeah. later we're back we've got I mean, this yeah. incredible equipment to do hybrid mm -hmm. programming mm -hmm. um i mean still doing a lot I, I know it doesn't seem like it to you but if you anyone who you just look through the chronicle mm -hmm. and yeah there's a lot going on mm -hmm. yeah yeah we just want we want to we want it to be more <laughs> exactly. So, but you, I'd be willing to, you know, volunteer, like to be a staff assistant until you get a staff assistant, or maybe other yeah. people on, okay. the, you know, like uh, one day I could come okay. in and just be here. All right. And well, maybe other know. people here would, I would do that. I would say please feel free. I could All right. give you my contact information All right. because well, on occasion I would be available as All well. Right. For All right. Maybe we, we could think about ways to plug you in in, in yeah. some way. Okay. I mean, That's especially. Good people that like I've been a volunteer here mm -hmm. so yeah. uh, tapping into some of the people that would like to you know I know we don't have that anymore like the reception yeah we, you know we got but there's really with the volunteers but yeah. there are people out there that I think would help maybe, maybe we can be creative. just to get over the hump until the director and the yeah. assistant director get in place I think. yeah Okay, Bob, you've been coming in to do yes Bob's been yeah. helping us out yeah. yep thank you we appreciate that yeah. and the coffee shop so yeah yeah you learned, yeah. to, you learned to use the new system, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, question the, um, yep. the hiring would come with the, with the new director as a candidate? So, the, the hiring for the assistant director for sure will wait until there's a new director. <laughs> yeah. The, the, I think. <laughs> but the staffing, I was wondering. The staff that, assistants, I guess that's a, a question up in the air. We, we started to have that. Have you had that discussion yet? Um, we haven't had that discussion yet. Um, but we'd but, like, I think. It's time, right? Yeah. Well, I yeah, I had taken a couple of days off. Now Michelle's taking a couple of days off because we desperately needed it. Sure. <laughs> so next week we're going to regroup, and that will be um, on the agenda for next. Week I think I think it's such a reasonable request to make through yeah. the mayor's office yeah. that yeah, we in need the to meantime, can at least move forward with yeah, we need to get at least one more roles. staff assistant in here. Okay. Yeah, we can't we, wait on that. And we know at least one. Like everywhere, hiring these days I is know. not. It's yeah. a shortage so that sooner it, yeah. it works for them to yeah. give the green light to go and at yeah. least start posting those right. positions. Right, right, right. So that would be really helpful. And in the meantime, you know, we're just, yeah, we're doing the best we can. We all, we all get along great right, and we all help each other out and stuff. So we're doing the best we can. So we start, I don't know if you've noticed, we have a Scrabble board out there on the corner. Oh, yeah. as soon as I walked in. And we had it sitting over on the table, nobody ever touched it. So mm -hmm. we brought it over. Megan said, well, why don't we put it up where we can do interactive? We've had more people stop by yeah, it's been a great and idea. spend time there with us just doing That's great. It. What a perfect, great idea, Megan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. And she, you know, we got a puzzle set up for people. So it's amazing that 
people are connecting because little ways. of us. I was going to say, that's a, a little thing that has a little way to stop and connect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's great. Oh, I know. I have a question about the gym. Mm -hmm. I haven't been back to it, but mm -hmm. I felt that it was so restrictive to my lifestyle. Is it, go is it going to be easier to go to the gym So Restrictive in what way? Like you have to set up a time. Have to. No, you don't have to. Anymore. Oh, oh it's, right. all, it's all right. Okay. Okay. okay, I didn't know that either. Yeah, yeah. okay. No, it's what just open. As long as you've done your fitness orientation. You have to do all that over again. Well, you also you have to do the medical paper. thing. Yes, you do have to do that. So it's yeah. restrictive in terms of that. But once you get through that, you can just oh. go in and use the gym. Yeah. Maybe we should put that in big letters in the front. <laughs> um, I think it does say that yeah. in there now. I think so. Yeah. 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 The yeah. When the masks were gone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. What you miss speaking of Chronicle, and I'll get you something, is for the next issue, whether we can put in, because we were talking earlier, actually, before the meeting started, that the number of COA members is clearly down. Yes and whether we might want to put something in there just that'd be great letting people know yeah. that there are vacancies in the process of an application through yes. the mayor's office yes if you get that to me by i'll tell you the exact deadline is soon <laughs> of course it is uh by wednesday at the latest okay sure i mean it's may 3rd i think I feel like every time in May, I do the chronicle, I feel like it's like I get two days to go, oh, okay. <laughs> and then it's like, oh my gosh, I've got the chronicle deadline to right. include the, the whole process yeah. and stuff. Is um, there an easily available job description for the staff assistant positions? Is there one that's easily available? I don't know. I don't know. HR will have it. Yeah, probably through HR. Um, you don't have it here. I, do you have I, one? I do. Okay, I don't. Because, you know, there are folks that each of us might know we could encourage. But, um, well, let's do the step first in getting the oh, go green light from the mayor's office before we um, recruit. Recruit, right? <laughs> if they want to wait, then we don't want to put anyone in an awkward role position. But, um, um, yeah, I mean, we hope to have that conversation hopefully next week. but. We can certainly, if we get a green light on it, can certainly get it to you. Sure. Any? Thank you. Anything else? Yeah. Jean. I wanted. I know that this is just something that I'd like to, to have a discussion about um, formally in, in some meeting, and I'm not sure whether we need to wait for the draft or probably. But um, I'm I'm both, you know, on on this. Um, advisory committee and um, I do a lot of stuff for Northampton neighbors too. I do this thing called call managing mm -hmm. so that I know who so so that people people I answer phone calls and, and emails and try to match people for volunteers. So recently um, I think partially because of a, um, a, a, a small meeting that that of um, the directors of the Northampton neighbors and people here. Um, when I answer calls, there, there are people who have been given the name of Northampton neighbors by the council and by the um, senior center, mm -hmm. and it's about transportation. Mm -hmm. So, and and as a result, I've realized that there's a lot of people who need transportation who can neither get it from the senior center. Or they can get can they get it from Northampton neighbors? Part a big big problem, two big problems. Okay. One is that um, medical appointments happen in half of the lot of times now because um, they stay built to big buildings in Hatfield, and we aren't allowed to cross city lines. And I actually just stop you right there since this is not an agenda topic. We really cannot discuss I it. I just wanted I just wanted right. to say I just wanted to I just wanted to describe a problem and and say that at some point I would like to either um, have people come in to talk to us about it. I, I didn't want to have a discussion. I just was trying to describe that the problem was it seemed that a lack of, of transportation opportunities that were partially um, partially driven by the fact that we can't cross city lines and partially driven by the fact that our van isn't really operational any longer. I so in the, in the future, 
I think that it will be important for us to have um, take maybe you know 20 minutes to a half an hour just to talk about what ways that we could because I as my understanding my my job my role as an honest committee is to advocate for seniors in the city so I'm advocating that we um, take some time to uh, consider this so topic. what I'm going to suggest is we put the trans transportation I think what we need to do first I'm looking at Laura well, is to. We need to understand what's available and the cons you know the constraints. Um, there isn't a, and you're experiencing it firsthand, a really good and close working relationship between the senior center and the Northampton neighbors, mm -hmm. who have very you know theirs is all volunteer, and they need at least a week's notice. And our taxi service is 48 and town limits that etc. So I think it's just understanding what's available, and that's in a those are in addition, or the PDA, PTA van is in addition to that. So let's just let's start the discussion by making sure that we're all on the same page about what's available to people over who are over 60 living in Northampton, and then talk about this is very much a, a, an issue that is part of the age-friendly work. Would it be at all useful if we asked um, Laura if there are people who call and have needs that we can't meet to just keep a list of that? Let's have that as part of the discussion at the next, because again, open meeting one doesn't let us have a full discussion like this, because it's not on okay. the agenda. So let's just have that discussion at the next this meeting. This is a proposal for new business. This is a discussion item for a next meeting. Right. For, for another meeting, but not today. New business. Right. right. Okay. New business at a new meeting. Exactly. So. So, Lauren has heard that. We'll have more discussion <laughs> yes, about um, and, and, and again, and once you get a copy of the draft age friendly plan, you will all see how big the transportation recommendations are. Thanks, Jean. Sure. Are there other topics for new business here today or items like that one that we want to put on another a future meeting agenda? Meeting agenda? I have a question. I'm not sure it's, it fits in either of those rubrics. But. Are former members of the Council on Aging required to have a period of absence before they can be reappointed, or can they be reappointed at any point? Is there any limit? Is there any? That's a great question. Do we know? I have no idea. But we can find out. Okay. I think it's. The I don't think office would know the answer to that question. Yeah. It should be in the bylaws. Oh, well, it's. I'll, I'll call and ask. Uh, well, let us find out. The issue yeah. is not. The appointing authority for anyone here is obviously the mayor. The past mayor had a practice. It has nothing to do with our bylaws or rules. It has a practice of members on city boards or commissions for no more than X number of years. Um, I don't know where the, the current mayor fits with that. So, but we can certainly find out what the current policy is, or practice, how they how they approach board vacancies. And prior members, because I don't, I don't know that there's any fast rule in city regulation. But I, obviously, you have somebody in mind. Where's Dennis when you need him? He would know. <laughs> that, he would know the answer to that question. <laughs> he's pretty he's running the friends of Northampton seniors. Yes, I know. <laughs> he knows that other stuff really well. Okay, we got two agenda items already for our next meeting. Other new business? Are there other topics? I just have a question. Um, the the um, I felt like in some of the meetings that I've attended, there's a fair amount of items that Marie has discussed that she was pursuing. Uh -huh. And then some have been completed and others still might be outstanding. And we also might have some ideas about future things that we would like the director maybe to pursue. So I was wondering if there's ever been a, a list or a topic in the past that we've pursued as far as um, things that in addition to what Marie was pursuing or um, just inclusive of it and how we you know how we would um, discuss that you know just I'm, not, I'm trying to make sure I understand your question I well, for example one of the pending items which may help figure out what it is or isn't what you're asking yeah um, the updated furnishings here yes. so there were a group several of us yeah. were involved in looking at furnishings and so the, yep. the last time the group met we and I'm looking because people who were in the room mm -hmm. were there um, we narrowed down the style selection of chairs 
we asked, we decided we wanted more fabric samples, so we didn't, we wanted to look at what else was available. So that's where that was left, and no one has had the time or even access to all the information to pick that one up. So there, I think yeah. that, then that's a, a big one. Um, and, and I know, speaking of Dennis, it's brought it up yeah. to me um, because of the money that the friends yeah. raised for that. So let's put that on the agenda as well. I can I was just thinking about a list of things, you know, like, yeah. or, like what's pending and the yeah, price. The and was one of what we might yeah. want to add, what's pending now, and, you know. Yeah, I can Do you have enough speak, to? Yeah, I can just speak to that briefly. It's on. It's on my list of things to get to the, actually the second week of May. So uh, what week are we in? We're at the end of April, right? Okay, so it's on my list of things to get to the second week of May. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of my, my time frame for it. Um, so. Yeah, no rush, I was just. No yeah, rush, so. so I think the next steps are, the samples are here. The, uh, the new samples are here. So I probably will, I guess in my own head, I'll reach back out to you all the second week of May, tell you all new samples are here if you all want to look at them again, um, and kind of just move forward from there. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we can move forward on that and kind of yeah. complete it, yeah. get moving on that, I think get really, it done. Yeah, I think we're all acknowledging that it's gonna be a long yeah. lead time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, once, yeah. Once we settle. It's so, I mean, I, I guess to speak, if that's one of the pending things, I think we can yeah. move forward and maybe get that taken so I, care of. I think what's possible, and I'm maybe getting to your point, is we can go back. I'm thinking. There might be, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. There, there might, might be other, other things. things. I'm thinking about the yes. written reports we had for Marie from each of, the, of our board meetings were a mm -hmm. lot of list of things. I think if we can go back with you, maybe there we have to do it now next meeting, you and I can do that. Yeah. And figure out where things are so we can provide okay. an update. And that, that's exactly what I was okay. saying. It's like so much was being pursued. Okay. <coughs> gotcha. Um, she was doing, you know, just, just a lot of different items. And so it would be good to like go back yeah. and get a list and then just see what we want to pursue and what we okay. want. Okay. So why don't you work with me on that and then maybe I can get you all some answers. And sure. Yeah. There may be things I know nothing about or can't get you the answers for, but there may be other things I can. So Right. You know, I think I'll also just in in during the time of being short staffed, mm -hmm. we also yeah. should look at so make some recommendations about priorities. Oh yeah, sure. Know, which, which are more important than yeah. which have sometimes yeah. sensitivity or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, so that some of them, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No. Listen, I'll be honest with you, and I'll tell you if I can get to it or I can't. We're patient about whatever you can. I think. I think. I think. I think we're all in the mode of being flexible, making sure that the essential yeah. things are getting done. Yeah. Without, yeah making people collapse at yeah. the end of the week. No, I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> et cetera, so we don't Collapsing do that. is not ever a good idea. No, no, yeah. no. Appreciate that. Other items for, Bob, did you have something for new business? Did you? No, the new business was talking about. Oh, okay, we did, thank you. I, I Recruiting. <laughs> so we're gonna, we got a plan for the next Chronicle. Other items, anything else other than that you'd like to see on the agenda for the next meeting? We've got transportation, the updates on the furniture piece and this, the list of items, the pending items. Anything else that comes to mind at this point in time? Uh, I mean, there obviously will be an update on where we are with the search process. Obviously. Our next, um, next meeting is at May 12th. 3.30 p.m. here. Unless anything changes. <laughs> Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you.